Yes, yeah, and welcome to the facilities garden center, folks. That's right, I'm down here in Coburg. I'm going to talk to you about citrus trees. Now, in particular, about pests that occur on citrus trees, because we're coming into the warm season. If you're in the southern parts of Australia, in the northern region, obviously you're already nice and warm there, and these pests are pretty much active pretty much all year round. We're talking about citrus gall wasp and citrus leaf miner, the two main ones that are quite destructive on your tree if left untreated or unnoticed. Now, I've got a couple of citrus trees left here in this little section and I've noticed that there is a little bit of citrus leaf miner in this one which obviously the tree came in with the problem already. Now the most common pro product to use is eco oil or an oil based spray to control these pests but once they're in the leaf it's hard to get them out because they are protected by the skin or a layer of skin by the leaf itself. They get inside and they burrow leaving snail like effects on the leaf distorting it and they particularly love the new leaves hence this is an old problem because that's an old leaf there New leaves are starting to burst out and this is the time of year where you need to take precaution to prevent the insects from getting into your trees because that's when they're most favourable. On the new growth, like over here, have a look at this. That's new growth. Now that's too young while you've got the red leaves to do anything as far as the spray is concerned because you've got the likelihood of burning that and causing more damage to the tree than the insect would itself. So wait for that to green up properly and that's the only time it's susceptible to getting infected not only from citrus leaf miner but citrus gall wasp and I know many of you know what that is by now it's the swelling of the branch where they burrow inside a nest and mature the larvae and they come out and merge and infect another part of your tree predominantly the new growth on new branches when you see it you need to cut them off you don't have to but what will happen is they'll emerge now to prevent them going back and reinfesting your tree you need to take precaution there one is citrus gall wasp spray or the citrus gall wasp white spray. I've got some here. This stuff should be around at all good garden centres across Australia. This is your shield of armour or barrier that you apply on the tree. It not only works on citrus gall wasp, it actually works with citrus leaf miner as well. This is a, a preventative, not something that's going to cure a problem that's already there. That is almost impossible. So citrus gall wasp, citrus leaf miner, and we'll take it to one an, another pest one step further, and that's pear and cherry slug and even codling moth. So these are the four pests that we've done trials on that have worked in controlling or reducing, dramatically reducing the infestation or infection of the tree by these pests. So spray this. Now what it does do is leave a white film and that's your indicator to tell you that it's protecting the tree. It also does protect it during the heat of summertime in causing stress on the tree. That's the heat from summer which causes the tree to stop producing and becoming active. By spraying this it becomes a reflective shield as well from the heat keeping the temperature of the tree down enough so that's constantly active producing growing its fruit now not only this for the citrus gall wasp this has been in trials for many many years it's been out in circulation now for just almost a year almost on a year it's our citrus gall wasp trap the only one and i can't stress that enough it is the only one that is that has been specifically designed to lure catch the female egg laying wasps they go to this do not hang it in the middle of your tree that's causing the wasp to be attracted and on its journey to the trap it finds a couple of beautiful succulent branches and it may infest your tree so you hang it on the perimeters of your tree north and south east or west if you like the bigger the tree the more traps there are two lures in here two traps inclusive last up to 10 weeks each one which is pretty much the season of the pest maybe longer than that so there may be a case where you need to replace them uh, through the course of its action so if you've applied it early like now for Victoria it's a little bit early that's why you do the citrus the CGWS citrus gall wasp spray as a preventative and then you hang this up as soon as the temperatures hit 18 degrees and above that's when the pests are active and not only on citrus trees we're talking pests across the board on all insects on all plants so take precaution look out for your trees peach nectarine aphids are all over them there'll be thrips going on and laying eggs on your fruit while they're young distorting the fruit as it grows when that distortion starts to happen and you notice it it's too late the damage is already done so precaution needs to be taken action needs to be taken now so for your citrus trees two traps 
and I'm thinking about your neighbours because if your neighbours have got a citrus tree and it's infesting your tree, you should knock on their door and share a trap with them as well and maybe spray their tree. The one application is pretty good. I recommend two applications of sprays and the traps hung in the tree will give you almost 100% protection. So important that you look after your trees, otherwise you will not get fruit or very little fruit and the longevity of the tree will be reduced dramatically. So look for these at your local garden centre or go to our website as we are running our spring special. 30 to 70% off everything online, inclusive of our products that I've just shown you here. Vasilisgarden.com is everything you need there from Eva Silly, Maresi.